In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create ideas inside head infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks when I click. I have created this uh, the silhouette and then the head appears, which is the head. You can see it's open. And then when I click, it will show the ideas one by one. So when I click, the first idea comes. You can see here I've added the icon, the option number, and then you can add the detailed text here. And on my next click, it will show me the second idea with different color combination and different icon. And then it comes the third idea. You can see it. So depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease the ideas here. So I've created two slides, one with animation and another without animation. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial i have downloaded this uh, silhouette the head silhouette from the internet so i'm going to use this particular uh, image for my today's tutorial so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut this uh, head uh, so for that go to insert shapes from the rectangle select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here maybe this much size this only i'm going to keep it and the rest i'm going to delete it so maybe this much is enough for me i believe then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this silhouette and then hold the shift key select the rectangle format shape format merge shape I'm going to just make a subtract so you end up getting a shape something like this and then you go to the picture format and then just crop it so that we don't want the unnecessary space there so I'm just going to remove that and this also I'm going to make it more down okay so we end up getting something like this so let me just hold the shift key and increase the size you can see here something like this then to look a uh, kind of a 3d effect what i'm going to do is i'm going to add one oval shape so go to insert shapes select the oval shape and draw oval shape you can see here something like this shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any color and for this also i can give any color i can just go to the picture format colors you can see here maybe i can just select this one all right now this one let me just uh, do a 3d as i said let me just make it more darker color zoom in a little bit so exactly you know what i'm trying to do i'm going to align it properly from the top you can see here and then reduce the size okay and here also i'm just going to reduce the size and then i'm just going to put it something like this you can see here it looks kind of a 3d you know something like this okay and for this i can just give some uh, gradient fill for that right mouse click go to format shape and here fill i'm going to select the gradient fill and gradient fill one stop i'm going to select a dark color black and let me just delete the other two stops and one stop i'm going to give this color and then the type i'm going to select radial and here i'm going to select from center okay so here i want the black one to come this side and it should come like this so you can see here it looks kind of a hollow design all right so something like this if you want to change the color you can just change the color to more color something like this so you can see here it looks more hollow and it gives a kind of a 3d look so once this is done let me just uh, zoom out and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add one more the head area uh, which is the back side of the head for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape again draw the oval shape you can see here a uh, slightly bigger than the the face you can see here and then shape outline i'm going to make it no or, or let it be a black and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to edit this circle or the oval shape for that right mouse click click on the edit point you can see here the four points i'm going to select the top point and then just 
you can see here two small squares just drag it outside with the help of the mouse you can see here so depending on the requirement you should not drag it more or should not drag it less also and this also you can just drag it inside and the moment you try to do something for this it will go back to this position maybe i can just increase a little bit from this end and here i'm just going to make it somewhat a little curved and from the top i'm going to increase the curve okay so it looks something like a, a head design you can see here it looks something like this and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to increase the line width for that go to line increase the width maybe i want you can see here a uh, more than 10 maybe 9 or maybe 10 okay and then shape fill i'm going to make it no fill and shape outline i'm going to use the same color which is this color or this is actually yeah can see a kind of a brown and then bring it here and then send this to back okay so it looks something like this so this is the the back side of the the head this is the face area with the 3d now we have to add a kind of a neck for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select this one which is the trapezoid draw the trapezoid you can see here maybe this much size okay and put it exactly in the center and then reduce the size okay and then what i'm going to do let me just put it let me just zoom in shape outline i'm going to make it no outline shape fill i'm going to use the same color let me just make it center right mouse click edit point and from the top i'm just going to drag this inside you can see here this also i'm just going to drag it inside and from this also i'm just going to drag this the same thing here okay so we just we need to adjust if it is not adjust properly so once this is done i can just reduce the size also so it looks more natural and then i'm going to increase the size first of all i'm going to select all or you can press ctrl a also then ctrl g to group it and then hold the shift key you can see here you can increase the size okay something like this also if it is too big also you can just reduce it again hold the shift key you can just reduce the size also depending on the requirement then let me just ungroup this right mouse click ungroup it and then i'm going to give some a shadow effect go to the effects go to the shadow presets scroll it down you can see the inner i'm just going to select this one so it looks something like this and for this i'm going to give uh, this shadow effect okay and increase the distance so it looks something like this all right so once this is done we need to add the options here so if i want let me just increase the size of this line you can see here it should look more natural so i'm just going to increase it all right so make it 15 so that looks more uh, a natural one then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangles so depending on the requirement you can add as many maybe four five three depending on the necessity so i'm just going to increase the size a little bit shape outline make it no outline shape fill whichever color you feel you can just add it and then you can give some shadow effect also which is this one press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to add one more here you can see something like this again press ctrl d so depending on the requirement you can just increase or decrease the size of the rectangle and again one more again just reduce the size from both the ends all right and then i'm going to select all of this and then just send to back okay and then depending on the requirement you can just change the color maybe i'm just giving this color and here i'm going to give some kind of a, a green color maybe i'm going to give maybe the, the gray color only here okay now it's time to add the options before adding the options you can add more uh, shapes also go to insert shapes i'm going to select this one which is the arrow pentagon draw the arrow pentagon you can see here maybe one option with this shape outline make it no outline press ctrl d to duplicate 
one more has to go from here okay and maybe you want you can just increase the size so or if you want you can just make it the same size also depending on your requirement and for this okay and i'm going to just change the color maybe this is green color this is the orange color and this is the blue color all right so now i'm just going to select all of this and then send to back so you can see here the green color is visible for that i need to right mouse click edit points and you can see here this point i'm just going to drag it here so that it will not be visible and then select all these three options go to the shadow effects and i'm going to select this one so this one let me just send this to back so that you can see the shadow effect again this also i'm just going to send this to back and then i can just arrange it properly okay so something like this it looks something like this you can see here so once this design is ready you can add the options and the detail text here so let me just put the options here go to insert text box and i'm just going to type zero one or you can make it a b c d also and choose any good font size of your choice and then let me just increase the size so this is the first option here okay and then control d this is the second option and this is the third option so you can just change the numbers so this is three this is two and if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can just add any icons here so once this is done you can add some detailed text so go to insert again text box let me just put some title here for example ideas i'm saying center align make it bold you can see here something like this these are my ideas maybe i need to increase the size and then press ctrl d to duplicate bring it here make the font as white or any the color of your choice your text here you can just replace your text with any of the title or headline whatever you feel better you can just add it ctrl d so you can see here our design is ready the options are ready you can just add any options you want and that's it so if you want to do some basic animation you can add the animation to it